Alright guys, quick video update before I get too far with this thing and forget to make some videos. So Sunday night, I ripped out the engine and trans. Here's the stock in line 6 and C4 I believe. If any of you guys want a C4, let me know. I'm probably going to scrap this thing. I don't fucking want it. And pulled everything out, made a big mess. Got to clean it up, but uh, this is the stock in line 6K member and I should be able to get everything done with that. It should have even more room. I did, my brown car had an inline six, and there was actually more room than the 2.3 car I did on the K member. And I have a whole bunch of extra parts and a 5.3 block. I think I showed that in the other video. So I threw this guy together. I put on a brand new reluctor wheel. This, this engine had problems reporting RPM correctly. So there's the old reluctor wheel with a 480E converter. And I have this guy all back together. I didn't do anything special. Everything's just normal. Slammed it all back together. I torqued everything on the bottom end here to 25 foot-pounds because they're stretch bolts and I reused them all and it's kind of pointless without a stress or a strain or a stretch gauge or whatever you want to use or call them. So 25 foot-pounds felt pretty good. I torqued everything. The mains both of them and the rod bolts to 25. I've done that before on motors and it works great surprisingly. I will see how this one starts. We'll see if this motor wants to start. I'll probably test fire it on my engine stand stuff I have over there and see how it runs. There's a 4Lady I pulled for this. Once I dropped off the car I made a video when I pulled this car into the garage. Uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as we got the car parked we went up to the junkyard and pulled the 4Lady. So that's what that is. And then I have a converter and everything for that. Those are a set of heads I'm going to throw on it. This is a F-body oil pan pickup and windage tray from a friend that's really gnarly. Really fucking dirty. <laughs> Incredibly dirty. There goes the Grand Prix up the hill by my house. Anyway, there's F1. F1, I said again. LS1 intake here. The gaskets are almost completely flat. You can, uh, if you look down the edge of it, you can't even see any gasket it's all basically plastic so I actually spent the whole twenty dollars to get fresh gaskets since I'm gonna be pounding boost through this thing uh, right away I got 80 pound injectors and I ended up getting a 76 millimeter on three turbo for this thing I'm gonna start off with that I'm gonna use two inch hot side piping and we'll see how all of that goes I'm gonna use the stock cam in the 5.3 stock converter and we'll see how fast it goes I'm just gonna use the air to air intercooler and see how it does I'm probably will add meth to it just because I like pump gas and meth it's a very reliable combination for me and also I lowered my booze a tiny bit if you want to see that She's nice and tucked in the front now I have it on a block there because I didn't get my kickstand adjusted totally yet so to give it a little bit more angle but about an inch and a half in the front and two inches in the back. Looks pretty nice. Pretty fucking awesome. These bikes don't look normal until you lower them because you see so many that are fucking slammed. I'm picking up a rear tomorrow. I'll probably get video of that. I'll have a rear end. I hope to maybe later this week get most of that motor bolted together and the ADE and get this shit cleared out of here and start dropping it in and fabbing some mounts. I let my friend borrow the welder. It's actually his welder, but I have it 96% of the time, so I gotta get the welder back <laughs> so I can build the engine mounts. I actually have to get subframe connectors. I just remembered that. I weld the subframe connectors into these cars, and the 4L80 goes so far back underneath that I use the subframe connectors instead of the stock transmission mount, and I make my own transmission mount on the subframe connector. It's actually easier. So I'll do that. Other than that, that's it for now. Nice little update. Hopefully that 5.3 doesn't fuck me and it runs good. <laughs> if it doesn't, uh, I probably, we actually sold all of our spare motors. So if I can't pull one very easily, there are engine yards around here that have 5.3s and 4.8s for pretty fucking cheap. So I might even go with a 4.8 again just for fun, but I think a 5.3 would be nicer to light off that 76 millimeter. I always wanted to try one of those, so we'll see how she does. And that's it for now.